Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Prime launch site for America's space vehicles. Designated one of our country's historic places at ceremonies attended by the Apollo 11 astronauts. This is where man began his journey to the surface of the moon. Nearby is Cape Canaveral. From here, hundreds of rockets have boosted many satellites into space. America's spaceport is also a wildlife refuge, where animals native to Florida find a protected home. Thousands of migratory birds spend part of their winter here. Plants and trees grow in abundance. The spaceport is a dynamic base. Facilities are being carved out of the Palmetto scrublands to serve new space vehicles of tomorrow. Kennedy Space Center is a unique area, historic landmark, active launch base, wildlife refuge, and open to visitors from throughout the world. persons each year see the space artifacts, learn about future space projects, visit the launch areas at America's spaceport, most of them see the unique facilities by air-conditioned bus on tours operated for the space agency. Knowledgeable tour guides inform the visitors about past and future space missions. Sixty men were crowded into this blockhouse to launch America's first satellite into space in 1958. Mercury Redstone launched our first astronauts into space. Ground control of the early manned space missions was conducted in this room. This is mission control. A memorial to the first seven astronauts in the Mercury program is just ahead. You may want to take a picture of the memorial and of the rockets and the launch pads we pass on the tour. The group of buildings which we are now approaching are collectively called the industrial area of the Kennedy Space Center. The spaceport's industrial area houses scientists, engineers. The Apollo astronauts train for their moon missions here. That is an actual lunar module. Directly in front of you is one of the largest buildings in the world. The VAB, assembly building for Apollo. Skylab and shuttle vehicles. The building is 52 stories high. In the center aisle is a mock-up of the American and Russian Apollo Soyuz rendezvous spacecraft. This is the launch site for NASA's Viking spacecraft, which will soft land on the planet Mars in 1976. The two-hour bus tour is a quick review of the launch programs conducted at Kennedy Space Center. At the beginning and end of the bus tour, a leisurely look at space accomplishments is available at the Visitor's Information Center. Free exhibits, movies, and demonstrations are featured at the Information Center. Here are replicas of the satellites that have greatly improved the world's communications and weather forecasting systems. Manned spacecraft are on display. They carried astronauts into space and returned them safely to Earth. Skylab exhibits tell of recent space missions. 
and the space shuttle display describes the benefits of the reusable space vehicle of the 1980s. Continuous motion picture shows review space missions. Man began crawling in space in Project Mercury. He learned how to stand up in space in the two-man Gemini program. He walked in space in Apollo and Skylab missions. And with the development of the shuttle, man is now learning how to fly in space. And it hasn't been too many years ago since man began flying... A lecture demonstration answers many questions about launch vehicles, spacecraft, and astronauts. No, he's not a real astronaut, but visitors seem to enjoy a close inspection of the mock spacesuit. Rockets, spacecraft, and large launch vehicle stages are on display outside the building. A model of the lunar landing craft is a favorite with photographers. Some visitors experience a ride on a lunar rover model, the vehicle used on the moon by the astronauts. Time to enjoy some refreshments and relax at the visitor's center. A variety of informative books, space photos, and models of space vehicles are available in the sales store. impressive accomplishments of America's space age are interesting to both young and old, to Americans and foreign visitors. The individual, family, and group are welcome at the Visitor's Information Center. Tour personnel are on duty daily throughout daylight hours to offer assistance. Whether the visitor spends a few hours or a full day at Kennedy Space Center, he's sure to enjoy an informative visit at America's Spaceport. <laughs>